We're here to celebrate our two newest graduates, Ms. Araceli Velasquez and Suri Sarai Aguilar. Suri, Suri Aguilar, really excited for all the hard work they've done. Uh, Ms. Graduate, Ms. Araceli Nicole Velasquez, being escorted by our counselor, Ms. Deborah. Our next graduate, Ms. Suri Sarai Aguilar, escorted by Mr. Albright, mentor teacher. Well, Zuri, congratulations. You finally made it, so that's super exciting. But what I wrote is that you came to the school with a plan, and it's amazing to see that you've accomplished it. A chapter in your life is starting to close, but I hope you keep your head held high as you start off on the next page in your book of life. Uh, keep growing. Invest in yourself and your passions. Pursue those passions. Don't give up on yourself or the things that you love. And lastly, take time to enjoy the little moments like this one. Congrats. Ms. Bowles, uh, Ms. Bowles couldn't be here, but her whole heart is here with you, Araceli. I know you all have cried together throughout this whole process, so I'm going to go ahead and let Ms. Dvorak read through Ms. Bowles' statement for you. Again, this is from Ms. Marcy Bowles, and she wrote this to be read to Araceli. Araceli, I was so looking forward to taking this last walk with you. I'm so sorry that I could not be here today, but I'm thankful for my coworkers who will stand in for me. That short walk is not the last walk for you. It is the close of one chapter and the beginning of a new chapter in your life. The last two years have brought both of us much laughter and yes, at times, a few or more tears. There were times when mom and I were not sure if we would make it through to the end, but obviously we made it. Thanks to Kimmy for hanging in there with me. I would say I treasured our time together and I feel truly blessed to have had the opportunity to be a small part of your life. I am most happy to say, I finally got rid of you. <laughs> now go change the world. When I am king, you'll be queen. Lavender's green, lavender's blue. You must love me, cause I love you.